if you looked at this top, this numerator and you saw that you have two groups of factors separated by a minus, and what you could do is look to see are there any common factors between these two groups. So if we just move left to right, we have a base of x plus 2 that's common to both. So we're always going to factor out the smallest power. So what's smaller, 3 fourths or negative 1 fourth? Always take out the negative or whatever's furthest to the left on the number line. And move to the next base that's common is x plus 3. Take out the smallest power between negative 2 thirds and positive 1 third. So again, furthest to the left on the number line. Whatever is going to be left inside will have that same form as the original. One group minus the other group. And so we can go in and see what's left in here. When we factor out or remove a common factor, you're dividing it out. And so when you divide out exponents, you do what with their powers? Subtract. So we're going to subtract a power of 1 fourth. And from the x plus 3's, we're going to subtract a power of negative 2 thirds. So when you uh, remove these, subtracting is equivalent to adding the opposite. So here we get an x plus 2 to the net of, uh, power of 1, or 4 over 4, which is 1. And here, a negative 2 thirds plus 2 thirds, we remove that whole thing. It becomes a power of 0, which is just a value 1. So x plus 2 is the remaining group in this first set. Do the same thing for the second. We'll subtract a power of negative 1 fourth. Subtract a power of negative 2 thirds, which is equivalent to adding the opposite in these. So here, the negative 1 fourth and the 1 fourth cancel. But here we're left with x plus 3 to the overall power of 1. Okay, this is all taken to x plus 2 to the, when you take a power to a power, you multiply. So 3, half, or three times 2 is 6 fourths. You can reduce this. I'm going to leave it just because I already know what's going to happen in this problem and, and you need it to be in fourths anyway. So I can just leave it in that power. My next step then would be to take any negative powers. So both of these factors have negative powers. I'm going to move them to the denominator and change their sign. So I get x plus 2 to the positive 1 fourth, and I get x plus 3 to the positive 2 thirds. So I'm getting rid of my negative powers just by moving them into the denominator of our fraction. And then the final thing is to simplify what you have here. So we have an x plus 2, and then a minus x, and then a minus 3. So when we look at the overall value here, we have a negative 1 in our numerator. We have this common base of x plus 2. So we're going to add their powers. 6 fourths plus 1 fourth gives you 7 fourths. And then the x plus 3 to the 2 thirds will stay just as it was. Okay, no factors got canceled from the denominator, so you don't have to write any domain restrictions or anything for that. You'll have your solution.